Hey everybody, today's video is on the basics of the data validation dropdown list for dynamic dashboards in Microsoft Excel. And while some of you may know how to implement the data validation dropdown list, you may be missing out on its best feature. Stay tuned. So looking at our sample data set, the first thing you should notice is that this data is already in a table. And that's an essential first step for any report you create, but it's particularly important for data validation dropdown lists. And I'll show you why in just a minute. So moving over to our dashboard sheet, what we're doing here is creating a very simple dynamic dashboard where we are showing all games played by this team that we select in this cell N4 here. And we're doing it using the filter function. And I specifically chose this data set because it lends itself very well to the filter function and a data validation dropdown list as opposed to something like a slicer. And that's because if we look at our data again, we have both the home team column as well as the away team column. So for our filter, we need to set either the home team equal to this cell, or that's what the plus sign means here, the away team equal to that cell. And this is gonna be much easier to do with the filter function and data validation. This is just an additional dynamic array here, which is gonna calculate the number of points that the given team scored in that game. And we can go ahead and hide this winning team column. So now if we look at this cell N4 here, we could change this cell to any of these teams, manually that is, so we could change this to QPR. And these are all the games QPR played in, we could change it to Arsenal, and so on. But rather than doing this manually, we want to give the user the option to select from a drop down list, all of the possible teams in our data set. And that's where the data validation drop down list comes into play. So let's create the input for our dropdown list. And for that, let's go over to our keys sheet. And the input, also known as the source, is essentially the options that the user will have to choose from in the dropdown list. And I prefer to put this on a separate sheet because it makes your report much cleaner and stakeholders of your report really don't need to see the backend work that went into creating it. So you can put it on a separate sheet, which you can hide when you finalize your reports. So if we go ahead and look at our data sheet again, you can see that we have team names coming from two separate columns. So it could be either in the home team column or the away team column. So to encompass all possibilities in those two columns, we go back to our key sheet. We can use one of the new Excel 365 formulas, VStack. So VStack, going back to our data sheet, we want to stack on top of each other here, both the home team column, and then the second array will be the away team column. So when we run that, you can see we get all values in both columns stacked on top of each other. But we don't want all possible values, we want all unique values. So we can wrap this in a unique function, run that. Now we have all of the uniques of all the teams in our data set. And the last step I want to take is to make this easier to navigate in our dropdown list. And that is using the sort function to put our options in alphabetical order. Now we're ready to create our data validation dropdown list. And you'll notice that our input list here is a dynamic array signified by that blue outline. And that is critical. And this is the best feature of the data validation dropdown list. So if we go back to our dashboard here, again, everything is controlled by this cell here and four. So this is where we're going to create our dropdown list. So to get to data validation, you can go to the data tab, and it's going to be this button here. Alternatively, we can do the shortcut alt a v v. So for allow, we want a list. And now here's our source, which we've just prepared in the key sheet. Let's go to our key sheet. And rather than selecting this entire list here, manually, here, remember, we created a dynamic array, so we could take advantage of that property. And we wrote our formula in cell A2 here. So remember, with a, a dynamic array, there's only actual content in one of the cells. Everything else is just simply a spill. So select that cell we wrote the formula in, which is A2, and then add a hashtag. And we have just inputted a dynamic array into data validation. So we can hit OK, and now we have a dropdown list. So we can select any 
of these teams we want. And the beauty of what we just did is we have essentially just future proofed our report. So if we go back to our data sheet here and we go all the way back down to the bottom, if in the future we get new data and new teams have made it into the Premier League, our dropdown list will automatically update without us having to do any work. So for example, if we have a new team, ABC, which plays against team XYZ, first of all, our data is in a table. So if we go to our key sheet, in our formula here, we have referenced the table columns. So the outputs are going to automatically update. So we already have team ABC here at the top. And all the way at the bottom, we have team XYZ. Now, if we go back to our dashboard sheet, and go up to the top of our list, there's team ABC. And go all the way down to the bottom, there's team XYZ. So because we, again, number one, put the data into a table, and number two, inputted a dynamic array into data validation, we have this beautiful future-proofed dynamic dashboard, and you can use this to build any kind of report you want in Microsoft Excel. In my next video on this topic, I'll go over chained or dependent data validation dropdown lists, where the input of one dropdown list depends on the output of another. So stay tuned for that video, and in the meantime, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching.